the very southern tip of Israel lies the beach resort town and port known as Elat. With Jordan right next door and Egypt and Saudi Arabia just a stone's throw away, Elat is definitely an interesting location for a sunny getaway and serves as a popular tourist destination for domestic and international tourists alike. There's also a lot of really fun beach clubs. There was one close to our hotel that sounded like a party the entire time. It's definitely a place to come and sort of party. It sort of reminds me of like a cross between like Las Vegas and Florida. <laughs> it's definitely as hot as either of them. Yeah. Follow along as I show you around this beautiful town on the Red Sea and make sure that you subscribe so you don't miss out on my upcoming travel videos as well. Well, here we are, the Alap Bazaar. <laughs> Our first order of business was checking out the shopping in Elat because when on vacation, shopping is my cardio. One awesome thing about Elat is that it's a tax-free town, so anything you buy here, you can get at a discount because it's tax-free. This is the promenade area in Elat that sits on the marina. It feels a lot like the piers in California that have a similar carnival-style rides and attractions right on the water. One thing you definitely need to do when you visit a lot is visit the Dolphin Reef. So I'm really so, so excited. We are going swimming with dolphins in a lot today in the Dolphin Reef. And this is honestly something that I've always wanted to do ever since I can remember. And it's finally happening. Freaking out! <laughs> it's not only a great beach to hang out at, but you can also go swim with dolphins here. <laughs> We originally booked ourselves to snorkel with the dolphins, but they convinced us to pay a little extra and scuba dive instead. I was honestly a little scared as I had never done this before, but their staff walks you through everything and they have someone who is with you the entire time to make sure that you're okay. I'm so glad we went the scuba route because it was really cool to get to dive deeper and get close to the dolphins as well as the beautiful coral reef and all the colorful fish that live there. Uh, we did it. That was crazy. Now we're gonna go see if they'll come chill out with us for a second. It's on the deck. The Dolphin Reef Alot is an amazing way to interact with dolphins in their natural habitat. I love that the dolphins here are actually not in captivity, but they are able to come and go from the enclosure to the Red Sea as they please. The dolphins are also not rewarded in any way for coming over and interacting. They get their food by leaving the enclosure and going out in the sea to feed. Even if you don't want to get wet, you can still get to see the dolphins up close on the floating piers and observation points at Dolphin Reef. Entry to Dolphin Reef for adults is about 69 shekels and diving with the dolphins will cost you about 350 shekels. This was absolutely a once in a lifetime experience for me and something I will never forget. See the red mountains, maybe see some wildlife, and watch the sunset. It's gonna be amazing. I'm so excited. But first, we gotta get fierce. <laughs> uh, I took a shower, and my hair is still a little wet, but this is like the natural hair dryer. <laughs> If adventure is your thing, exploring the desert mountains via Jeep is something you should definitely do while in a lot. Our tour guide was so fun and he stopped at several points to point out wildlife, explain different rock formations, and he even took us to see some incredible views of the Gulf of Elat from above. The ride was a little bumpy, but that's probably because I picked the jump seat. When I said bumpy, I wasn't playing. I want you to look ahead and wait till I'm counting to three. And even you want to point your camera. Look at the front. One, two, three. Opa. We started going faster to make sure we caught the sunset, but don't worry, it wasn't this fast in real life. Good. Okay. Yeah,
的保密。isn't an ad for Gold Star, but since I'm drinking a bit of it in this video, I gotta give a shout out. It's a delicious Israeli beer. If you have back problems, maybe this isn't for you. <laughs> you definitely can't drink a beer and drive with the seatbelts in the US. <laughs> Yes! The Alat Mountains offer some of the most breathtaking views and awesome desert trails in all of Israel, as I'm sure you can see. When the sun goes down, the mountains turn a beautiful shade of red. You won't find a better view of Elat and the Red Sea than this. Taking in the view here, I couldn't help but have such a feeling of awe. This area has been a huge geopolitical and strategic region since ancient times, and you definitely get that feeling being in the desert so close to Egypt. Being a lover of history, this was one of my favorite things about visiting Israel and experiencing places that have had such importance for thousands of years. We took our time at the top and we had a little dance party to David Bowie because why not? Guys, this is Anna. If you're ever gonna come to Israel, you have to call her and she's gonna show you all the amazing places to go. Now we're going on a yacht in the Red Sea. We're gonna check out Egypt. So, and then you have plenty of rooms, plenty of kitchens. Probably the most epic thing we did in Israel was take a yacht out on the Red Sea for the day. This was when I definitely started to feel like I was really on vacation. Stocked with plenty of sunscreen, snacks, and rosé, this was the best way to spend a day out on the water. There is the border between Israel and uh, Egypt. But there is a point over here at the middle of the Red Sea. They see that we're going close to the border. Yeah. They already change the direction and they're coming back here. There's a certain part of the Red Sea where you can be in the waters of Israel, Jordan, Saudi Arabia, and Egypt all at the same time. Now that's what I call international waters. <laughs> Gotta put sunscreen on. Obviously, yacht photo shoot or it didn't happen. You know I'm right. <laughs> I almost fell off this boat about three times trying to be extra and dance. I'm just keeping it real with y'all. While not as salty as the Dead Sea, the Red Sea has a much higher level of salinity than regular oceans, which means you can float so much easier. The water is impossibly blue. It's almost like you applied a photo filter over it. On the way back, we had another dolphin encounter when some of them decided to come and surf in our wake. Total show-offs. There's so much more footage of me falling over on this boat where that one came from. Whoops. Here I am eating shakshuka for breakfast yet again. As we left a lot, we went and explored a couple places right outside the city, including Timna National Park. Located about 17 miles north of Elat in the Negev Desert, it is a majestic national park with ancient history and geology. 
This area was where the ancient Egyptians discovered copper. Copper was the first metal used to create tools, weapons, and other objects, so this area was incredibly important to the ancient world. You can see the ancient copper mines and mining shafts throughout the park. While you could easily spend a whole day here, we went straight to the site of Solomon's Pillars, one of the many unique geological sandstone formations to be seen throughout the park. This valley was once covered in water, and these formations are due to the water's erosion as the water levels dropped over the course of many years. Hello! I've always been fascinated with ancient Egypt, so it was really something else to visit this park and try to imagine what it was like thousands of years ago. And then they have a beautiful little oasis here in the middle of the desert, which you need because it is hot. Had to get a popsicle because it's so hot. This is delicious. Mm. Mango and salted coconut. The last destination is all thanks to the Gram. I saw photos of Nawat Semedar when scrolling through Instagram and had to see it for myself. This is a kibbutz located in the north of Elat, founded in 1989 by a group of friends interested in creating a learning community that focuses on cooperation and creativity in daily life. The kibbutz focuses on organic farming, desert architecture, water recycling, and the art center, which you see here. They also have a winery. This art center has a program of courses and seminars on a regular basis. Many of those who live in this kibbutz are artists and all the residents participated in the construction of this building, which took about 15 years to build. It's definitely an epic photo opportunity. Like that about does it for our trip to a lot. If you like this video, please make sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe and stay tuned for the rest of our trip to Israel. Shalom.